Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and this is a game with Germany because we haven't played Germany in quite some time. Truthfully I fancied playing quite a chill, nice, happy game with myself because I kind of fancied it but also because I am just about to go for work and holiday reasons away from home, away from my recording equipment so what I'm doing is I'm just in the process of filming a bit of a back catalogue for the next I think nine or ten days you'll probably be seeing some longer series of about 15 minute videos each. I'm very sorry about that but I kind of took the decision that you would all prefer to see daily videos that were a bit shorter than longer videos but didn't come out as often. Well certainly that's kind of what I feel. Now we've played a bunch of funny games and challenge games and TSL games so this is weirdly normal. This is a small tilted axis map with the details as follows. It's pretty much everything just left alone to be honest. I just rolled it and was like, sure, go for it. None of the game modes are on, but we are playing with standard speed and deity difficulty. And this start, well, you can get this start yourself if you come to Discord to get the save file. This starts pretty good. This is an in-place olives settle, as well as, look at that, look at old campus over here. Oh yeah, that's a nice plus four campus. I'm thinking already we can go for an aqueduct there. We can go for a hands of there. Actually, ugh, do I even want to put a hands of there? I don't know. But an aqueduct there probably sounds just about fine. Let's just let's just settle, shall we? And we'll see how the game goes. Now Germany are one of the best sims in the game, and they're really good fun to play, which is why I kind of fancied them. Every city having one more district than usual. We're playing with Hansas, which are an amazing industrial zone, which are half as uh, expensive to build, and they also get adjacencies to commercial hubs, as well as aqueducts, canals, and dams. Production bonuses for adjacent resources, that's not only strategic, but that's also bonus and luxury resources, as well as the usual bonus from district so yeah pretty cool like the instance if i stuck the hands on that tile that would be immediately plus four and if i stuck a commercial hub there that's a plus seven so there's a lot of decent tiles here i think tilted axis maps are pretty big i fancy playing a bit scientifically this game to be honest i think that would be quite good fun to do I feel like maybe going for a bit of a science game where I culture up a little bit as well. Like Germany are really, really good with just building stuff. Now I'm going to avoid religion, but if I have one extra district, it means I can stick campuses down. It means I can stick commercial hubs down and it means I can stick Hanses down in a population four city. And if I go to population seven, I can double that up with a theater square. So that's kind of what I'm thinking doing at the moment. I, I feel like that's a good thing. I feel like I've also got a good scout start here. That's quite fun. It's eight turns, eight. I mean, it just perfectly works, doesn't it? I'm going to go and have a look up the river as well and see what we can find. Now, when you're not going for religion, I always find that animal husbandry is the best to start with because it lets you just sort of check in, see what strategics were around and go from there. I like to um, travel up rivers as well. That helps me to just sort of navigate myself. There's a tribal hut there. There's a spearman there. We can take out some barbs whilst getting the tribal hut at the same time. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Military tradition. Uh, well, it gets a hero score and that's kind of the important thing there. Singapore. Okay, that's a production city state and one that works on trade routes, which is probably one of the best that Germany could have got. That's awesome. Oh yeah, that's 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 brilliant gonna rush straight into the settler methinks the two tiles i'm working at the moment are pretty pants but that'll have to do for now oh they stole it singapore stole it oh boo now that is salt with some faith that if means delicate arch, delicate arch. okay well astrology boosted this is probably one of the worst to settle by but if i did settle by it i would get a pantheon pretty quick because of all of the faith going on here so Maybe it's, it's it's worth just a punt on that front. I don't know. I don't know, actually. Well, we'll have to see. What about horses? Have we found... We haven't found any horses yet, have we? Nope. Okay. Well, this is not a horsey start. The so tilted axis maps are kind of maps with the polar regions locked into weird configurations. They're quite good fun. So it means that you'll probably get tundra down one side of the map you'll get desert down the other side of the map and it may not be a north to south thing it could be east to west it could be northeast to southwest there are many different permutations and it's quite fun 
God King, Discipline, and Survey, and get all the double, because I am Germany and I get an extra military policy slot. The trick with Germany is you want to get your hands of districts into sort of a, a nice place where you can, you can shove them all together, but equally you don't want to crowd your cities too much. If you crowd them, then you don't end up growing very well. And this is often one of the problems that people can find, is they'll go, oh, I'll stick three cities in like one little triangle, and they don't have any space to grow. You don't need huge cities, admittedly, as Germany, because they can put more districts in. But equally, having lots of farms and having lots of space can be very useful. So got to keep an eye on that. Where are you going to go? Hey, where are you going to go? Wrong answer. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Norway. All right. So no settling on the coast for like ever. Candy. I thought clay. OK, well, we get plus seven combat strength when attacking city states. So... That's not a bad target, Candy. Not a very useful one for me. Getting relics? Nah. Uh. Japan. Okay, Japan are much more sort of Germany-esque in the way they play here. So I have to keep an eye out for them. They, they, they can be a little bit dangerous. They like a lot of the things that Germany like, and they like to build campuses quite a lot as well. Kahokia, though. Yeah, these mounds are useful, but again, this is two targets for invasion, actually, if we were to build a little bit of a sort of medieval to renaissance army. Harold. Hello, sir. You want an olive branch? I could sell an olive I could sell it for a little bit. Uh, it's worth it. It's worth it. But I mean, that four gold per turn, I think I can hold on and get a little bit more gold. Looks like Norway are on a different continent to me, or like a different landmass anyway, which is really useful. And it looks like I'm about to get bar brushed. Well, if I had any ideas about going for the Delicate Arch, that is now vanished. So, to the north we go. To the north we'll find a volcano where we can settle and get absolutely toasted. Or we can settle on this floodable river and get ourselves drowned. Or, if we're very, very lucky, we can go on this tile and get toasted and drowned at the same time, yes. Yes, well, oh, that's the connoisseur's choice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. feel like I might go and settle on this Plains Hill tile. Gives me access to some pretty good campuses. It gives, puts me on a, on a river. Like, I like that, actually. I think that's, that's not bad. Oh, there's a wildfire over here as well. We need to keep an eye on that. That's going to leave some amazing territories. There's also been floods along this river. Okay, it, it feels like this is a start with not very good land. But the land is actively getting better the more we wait, which is quite intriguing. It doesn't often happen like that. Second city, ahoy! Oh no, I think my scout's going to get fried. There's another wildfire there. Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, right, we can go there. Um, we can go, oh, I'll go there. Let's hope that, that works. Come on, don't do it, don't do it. Yes, 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 yes. Run away, run away from the wildfire. My seas are unprotected. I have no seas. Actually, no, that's a lie. I do have this tiny, tiny patch of sea. Okay, if Norway can do anything with that, I will I will be like, yeah, fair play. Play fair play, sir. Bronze working boosted. And we've got our first worked farm. That should help my capital grow a little bit. Some builders would be an amazing pickup for me here. Let's go for urban planning and a googie. I don't like survey. It's useless. Oh, this is better land by Singapore. Okay. That's good. I was worried that I would literally only have terrible land, but that's a little bit better. Not a lot better, but a little bit better. And there's kind of a semi-decent campus tile there as well, so that's good. I think I need to go and settle this rainforest. That is amazing yields over here. Look at that. Six yield banana tile. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, get off my stuff, please. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I hate barbs. I hate barbs so much. Barbs just suck. Just get lost. I hate you. Japan has Feed the World, by the way. If I can pick that up, that would be amazing. Germany would Feed the World. Oh, for good... Right, get off. No, don't pillage my campus. Oh, my God. Just F off, you dirty barbs. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Attack the city. Oh, my rage was so much that the game has crashed. For goodness sake. Okay, right. So I reloaded the game and they did attack the city. Thank goodness. That is, that is just a little bit of relief. But still, there is a huge barb incursion and this is not particularly fun at all. 
Why do I always leave my borders open? I just want some nice chill games. And then the barbs are like, hello friend. I would you would you like a visit from from the barbs? And I'm like, no. No, I really I really would not. Please, please go. Okay, I need I need an army. I, I need to continue getting an army. This is just ridiculous. Like, goodness me. Oh, horrible. Archery as well. Archery would be very nice. No, 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 no. Get lost. Get lost. Please get lost. Oh, my lord. This is horrible. They are everywhere. Don't just... Oh, for goodness sake. They're going round now. He walked all the way around this double set of mountains just to get to this campus. You dicks. Ah. Oh. I should, I, you know what, I should have moved my slinger out. That would have been a clever thing to do. Really, can I blame anybody for my stupidity there? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, I think I absolutely can blame. Uh, Magnus, I think Magnus is going to have to come out. Um, we need to start settling onto this continent. I need to spread. Pingala's good and all, but if I've got um, campuses going, that's fine. Oh, actually, hang on. This might be a pantheon. I think I, I might have taken my card out early. And lost the Pantheon, but, oh for God's sake, yep, that slinger got killed. Okay, right, so, let's think about this. Let's think about this. What could we use that would be useful? I think that going for something, a Lady and Reed of Marshes, have we got many, have we got actually a marsh tile there? That would help my capital drastically, if we could work that one. Desert floodplains as well. There's a bunch of desert plot plains in my city's Lady of Loot. Yep, let's, we're doing reeds and marshes. Nice. Okay, that already hits that tile. And if I just pick this tile up, perfect. That's now two, that's four more production to my capital. Four more. That's insane. Right, attack the city rather than pillaging my campus. Yes, you did it again. May the forces Good. Of At least we can rely on them being useless and stupid. Um, okay, that's dead. Good, 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 good. You attack, attack, and then finish off. Perfect. Okay, we've got a, a steadfast defensive wall. That's good. But the rest of it is not good. And will the government plaza that? That'll up my campus to six and give me the extra um, uh, governor title. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, did you get that from what I was saying? No, I don't want to demand. I want to go for open borders. Can you give that to me? 14 gold, that'll do. You see, I'm in about this tilted axis. We've got tundra now over just in the middle of Japan's territory. Oh, and snow and glaciers. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a strange old format. There's the barb camp. It must die. We have to kill it. We really, really do. We've got archers now. They've run away. The barbs were like, it took one look at the archers and they were like, yeah, fair. There, we're not going to mess around here anymore, but this barb camp still needs to die. To 12 science per turn, we can get provision in now. That's perfect. Let's get uh, the settlers in. Um, although, uh, let's get a builder then into settler, and we just need to work at just improving everything. Barb camp destroyed. That's the first one. We have a few to destroy, but, you know, one at a time. That's all you can do to win this war, one at a time. Japan has this amazing little sort of cluster of cities, but they also are on the same landmass as me. It looks like neither of us have that much space. Okay, well, we're either going to be super friends with Japan Wealth or the total opposite. At the moment, I, I don't know which way that's going to go, but I can, I can guess. Moderate flood. No, don't break everything. Oh, I just fixed it all. Just fixed that. Oh, this game. It's being rather frustrating. Put it to put it to lightly. Okay, there are just so many barbs on this continent. It is like on the one side, it's a good natural break between me and Japan. On the other side, I mean, even with my archers and warriors, I can't actually combat them at the moment. They are just brutal. Wheel has been boosted, and then apprenticeship. Hands are going to make the difference here. That's going to be how I fight from here. Oh my god, look at all this. It's horrendous. Right, um, we're going to go. One, two, like that, and then we're gonna go one like that. Cool. And just hope we can fight them off. No, I can't fight them off. Everyone run. Run, 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 run. Kill that while you're out there. Yeah, this is this is hopeless. I didn't actually check how much marsh there was on this continent. Not a huge amount. It's all over there. Alright. Desert floodplains. This little group group up there. 
Okay, right, we're sending our settler north. <laughs> Scout, can you just go to this town? Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, don't do that today, then. Eh, just another day is fine. Choppy chop. Commercial hub has been finished. Good, but I need a monument, and I need it quick because I need to improve the city that I've got. Now, this city is looking pretty decent already, but I want to get all of these floodplain tiles. So I need to move a little bit closer to the influence, which is not going to be good for Frankfurt, but look at all these tiles. That's a 2-5, and I'm working immediately. For whatever reason, not a 2-5. Come on, don't do that. These tiles are getting really good now. Oh, come on, you need to grow. Grow, Rhizantium, grow. Oh, they fell for the trap. Okay, right, well, that's that done. Sometimes the barbs will give you turns and turns and turns and turns of grief, and then they'll just sort of capitulate almost instantaneously. It's, it's very, very strange. Uh, let's just get this hands finished. Come on, I need all my hands is done now. Oh yeah, of course, this city can't because it doesn't have the population. Yay! Okay, right, well, we need to get that done uh, pretty quick. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trevor Daskby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard and Portland for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who comments and likes. Thank you!